we're definitely on to something. Oh my God, please, please be what we're looking for. Oh yeah, bingo. You don't even know how happy I am. Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. So, if you saw yesterday's video, I went out searching for lost colonial home sites. This massive area where, you know, for the most part, our area was settled in the 1750s. But there's this massive chunk of land that is just vast, huge, publicly accessible, that supposedly people were there in like the 1730s. So at 20 years, uh, earlier that's quite a difference but the thing is i've been looking for this for like 10 years <laughs> there's walls and there's signs and there's bricks and there's things but i just can't seem to find a home site but after yesterday's hike certain things stuck out in my head and i had the night to think about it and we had crossed a wall where it had been logged and I thought about that wall because I looked out, you know, I went quite a ways down and it started to get really bad. That wall has to go somewhere. So today we're going to follow that wall. It's a bit daunting starting out because this, this is kind of open, you know, but I know I have, I got a quite a couple, I'd say a couple miles before I can get into the area where that wall gets into terrible land but I need to push on through because I've never been out there and that wall has to go somewhere so you guys sit tight I'm gonna get on the move and I'll check in with you when I get to that point okay well a long time later here's the wall I've been following this is the problem area that couldn't be passed and I'll show you something interesting you see how it's brighter over there that's marshy land and one thing about the drought this year all this would not have been crossable this is not logging mess this is all from the backwash of that out there so at some point in time or times this gets pretty nasty so the wall is still going unbelievably so I'm gonna keep heading that way and I'll see you in a few so I just went through probably a quarter of a mile of what's normally wetlands no way I would have gotten out here any other time in the recent years and we have wall so hopefully we're on to something. Well, a few hundred feet up the wall and in, I've got 20 feet of random wall. We're definitely on to something. Maybe I'll have finally found a site out here. The only problem is, as you can see, it's been logged in the past couple decades, so, woof. If there is a cellar hole, in this, it's gonna be rough. Well, I'm in the thick of it. I don't even know if you can tell, but there is a bit of a hole there in all this. And iron. Wow. I don't know. What a mess. If this is a site, uh, I'll be thrilled to have found it, but I won't be able to detect here. It's just, it's just bad. Thorns and itchy scratchies.
lead could be a projectile from a shotgun. Well, we're just about to move on and look at this. Brick. So this is the chimney stack. But again, absolute disaster. <sighs> what a shame. But I can confirm, it's, it's a site. There's what's left of a hole, a chimney stack with bricks. The bricks is the giveaway. So, success on that. But I can't detect it. I'm gonna try to come back here before winter. Maybe it'll die down a bit. Now that I can pin it and come back, but we're gonna push on forward. Uh, now that I've been able to break through to this side, and we're gonna go up there on the horizon on that hill. Oh, it looks like all the trees, so maybe it hasn't been logged. Better conditions. We'll see you soon. Okay, 15 minutes later. Field stones. Pile of field stones. Still thick. Not nearly as bad as where we just were, so same routine look for the signs oh there's a wall good all right we have corner so now I'll check this side I just went uh, east to west I'm heading north it definitely has cultivation feel to it in there. Well, this one's not being easy. I've been walking all the corners. This one corner has this beautiful pile of field stones. And this is the only side of this square, and it is it's just a, a lone square. This is the only side that has anything this predominant, so for the sake of it, I'm going to go out that way. This is what we call pinball wizard stuff. You get in here and you just get all bounced around and you really can't keep a straight direction. Huh. Oh my god, please, please be what we're looking for. Oh yeah, bingo. You don't even know how happy I am. I started coming out here, like I said, 10 years ago and I've come in from the north I've probably been within a half a mile of this but I could never come in from the east as I did today the only problem is it's gonna be real rough swinging but I don't care we find anything from this site it's gonna be awesome so let's get down to it so for the record Took me an hour and 45 minutes, which with filming and zigzagging, I probably have an hour and 15 back out. It's out here. Oh, don't be a silent job, please. There's iron. Well, I'll tell you, I'm on my second pass. That's the first signal. You can see that they logged right up to the rim of the cellar hole. So it's, it's been shifted and beat. Uh, I'm going to give it a while more with the 11 inch. That ain't working out. I'm going to switch to the 5 inch coil and get in and around all this small stuff. Nice 
piece, we got two piece button. Tough shape. So there we go. Two piece button. I don't think there's anything on it. But it's in really bad shape. The back looks like it's iron. But we found something. Look at that. It's just the smallest little sliver of maybe lead. Judging by the numbers too. Wow. Oh, definitely sounds like iron. I dig everything I can hear out here. I'm actually right at the edge of the cellar hole and there's old tire marks right next to it from when they logged. It's not in good shape. It's a chunk of iron. Six inches deep. Is it from the site? Probably. Could be from loggers. Potentially. There we go. That oh, actually looks like the top of a two-piece button. So what I'm gonna do is I put my 11-inch back on. I've been here two hours. You guys have seen every signal. It's just bad from logging. So as I explained in yesterday's video, this area is just massive and I've only been able to get into like 20% from certain sides. With that on, I'm going to move my way out of the living space here to see if there's any breaks in the grow back. Kind of a bummer there wasn't more here, but we've seen this before. When they log right up to it and they drive all over it, uh, they're just dead quiet. I found one nail. Think about that. A big nail should be loaded. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move around. I'm going to head over to where there's one square. It's a couple acres. Look around and uh, we'll see what happens from there. But at least it's been found. Uh, I'm a few hundred feet out from the home site or at least the cellar hole and check this out rock lined all the way over there all the way way back there in a square so I'm assuming that this was a barn some type of outbuilding and there should be iron in the ground around it, but there's not. It's clearly defined. I mean, it's, uh, I'd give it 20 feet by 40 feet and just dead quiet. But another piece of the puzzle. And at least I can walk through here without ripping my face off. Well, I've been rambling around for a long time. I'm just in the middle of it all. Seventy-four. What in the world could be out here if it's not old? Space junk, maybe? I don't know. Oh, actually, very cool. And that, I think, is my third one. That is a solid shotgun shell. I'm actually quite pleased to have found that. I guess that makes sense way the hell out here from a long time ago. Wow. I guess it uh, pays to walk with your machine on. I have such a long way back that I'm just taking my time at this point. Nice. So, it's getting late in the day. 
I've been out here all day. This wall is running north, south. This is uh, the square I was at earlier. And essentially, so you guys know what I deal with, I've got to head that way, east, for well over an hour and keep my direction. It's just, uh, it's just terrible. I'm gonna say it. This was not a fun day. Uh, going through the, through the woods. And I have no idea what's directly ahead of me that way. All I know is by standing on this wall, that's the way I've got to go. Because I sure as hell ain't going back the way I came in. I'd have to go down all around and blah blah blah. So we'll film till the end and uh, keep you updated if we come across anything interesting. Actually let me give you a little bit of this. Brutal. And a little uh, sense of direction thing. So, big trees. See them up there? Earlier, way back, I pointed at the horizon. I said we need to go up there where the old trees were. Up there on the horizon on that hill. That's how I know where I am uh, in reference to filming earlier. So, these are the trees I could see when I was way back at the other site. Oh. Let's just hope we don't run into wetlands. Should be dry, but I never know. Loggers. This is where it gets sketchy with the logging stuff. Well, I'm back on course. I just bushwhacked forever. Fortunately popped out on the logger, logging road that I started on. But man, autumn is here. Temperature's dropping quick. And uh, I still have at least 20 minutes to go. So I'll see you at the end of the video. Oh. I made it. That was something else. And let's see, grand total is just under seven miles. And was it worth it to go all the way out there, find two buttons and come back out? Absolutely, you know why? I get to mark two home sites on the old map that did not exist and it gives me a better understanding of the entire area which again like I said I'm only going 20 percent in because it's so huge and it's so bad a mile in the bush is like four miles out on a trail I mean it's it's something else you woodsmen know the only unfortunate part is with such a long in and out that first one I definitely have to go back to when the vegetation dries out a little bit, dies off, bring a machete, and try to find at least one thing. So we'll put that on the list. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday.